Hello, Legal Shield family. This is Chris Ward coming to you from Denver, Colorado, uh, just to help you out with another way to generate traffic through your Facebook business page. A lot of individuals are get hung up right here on their action button. And so typically, uh, when I'm sharing this with associates, I'll ask them, what is it that they actually want to do with their Facebook business page? Uh, some people want to focus on the Legal Shield Business Solutions Division. Some people just want to market the product and direct sales. Uh, some people want to focus on identity theft. Uh, other people want to make it a kind of a recruiting page. Well, I myself, uh, I just like to primarily maintain focus on our uh, Legal Shield and ID Shield products. Uh, and then when I'm talking to the prospect, I, that's when I, I ask them about the things of which company do they work for, do they own a small business, are they interested, are they open to additional income. So I really take each prospect on a case-by-case -case basis. But what I want to do is show you how to edit this because a lot of people, uh, they have it set up because you can edit your button to do a, a, a lot of different things. So I'm going to go uh, back and show you what the options are, and then I'm going to show you what I did with mine. So you can have book services uh, where people can schedule appointments, which is very uh, uh, efficient if you are somebody that uh, is like a hairstylist, a uh, nail technician, massage therapist, somebody where your job is based on your availability. So the other is get in touch. And a lot of associates reach out and they'll tell uh, prospective clients, they'll say, well, why don't you call me? Why don't you call, uh, send me a message uh, or just sign up, send an email, so on and so forth. Well, the challenge is this doesn't capture the prospect. So uh, whenever people click on your get in touch button uh, and they contact you, uh, that doesn't necessarily put them into your contact management system. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so there's a lot of different options in here about how to contact people. You can say learn more. Uh, somebody can go in here and they can either watch a video or they could go to a website and take a look at more information about who you are and what you do. They can make a purchase or make a donation. Some people sell their products directly through their Facebook page. Now, I remember years ago, Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, said that his intention was to replace all websites. He literally wanted every small business to only have their Facebook business page. So they've made all the features available. Then, of course, there's the, hey, look at this, download an app. Uh, maybe you want to have somebody download their app through their mobile device uh, or perhaps play a game, uh, one of the games that you're offering. Well, all of these are great as far as interaction, but what I want to do is I want to capture uh, the prospective client. So I'm going to click on Learn More, and I want them to learn more about our organization. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, there's a feature that I've shown before, which is our, our uh, landing, our capture and landing pages. So if you go to your Prospect by Legal Shield at prospectbylegalshield.com and go ahead and log in, you're going to see over here on the side, you're going to see uh, dashboard, contacts, rewards, campaigns, and resources. Click on resources. And under category, scroll down to capture and landing pages. Now, as you recall, I said, what would you rather do? Would you rather sell somebody a membership or recruit them into your business? Well, when you look at all these, uh, pretty much all of these cat landing pages are only dealing with recruiting. There's one, however, the benefits of a Legal Shield membership that will actually plug them in to a membership overview. So if you click on custom page, you're going to see uh, the link. This is your landing page. As you'll see, it's, uh, and it's not yours, it's mine. Don't use this link. Use your own link, but you'll see that it has my contact information. And it says, hey, you can plug their information in here to send me info, which was what the intention of the action button was. So what I want you to do is copy and paste all the way from your number. So each page, so you see this 1001, this is a numerical identifier for this page. The 736, that's the associate identifier. So that's me. So I want you to copy it. And then I want you to go into your business page. And you'll see here where it says link to a website or an app. I remember I chose learn more. And you'll see I've already put my uh, my uh, URL in there for that page. So I'm going to click Save Changes. 
So you've updated your Learn More button. So when you click on Learn More, you'll see that it says Test Button. So when you see this, this is through your edit management system. So you can edit the button, you can view insights, help people learn more. Uh, typically that means that you're going to boost or run an ad campaign, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it here. So you can test the button just to make sure that it works. And you'll see that when your prospects click on that Learn More button, it's going to take you directly to the landing page. So I think this is a lot more efficient way for associates who are sending traffic to their Facebook page to actually capture the guests because we don't have any control over what they do after they get to our page. The best thing we can do is try to drive them into one of these landing pages so that we can get them into our uh, email campaigns to educate them further. Uh, just another tool in the, in the toolbox for those of you that are leveraging your legal shield business page through Facebook. So thank you all for your, uh, for your time. Uh, feel free to sh uh, like this video, subscribe, and then share the video with your team if, for those that are actually using Facebook business. Thank you all very much for your time, and this is Chris Ward signing off.